welcome everyone to the Light It Up podcast. So this is a very different and a very special episode. This is our season one finale. So yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so this episode, we I, we're not going to be talking about a certain biblical subject or whatnot. We're going to go through just some. We're going to go through all the episodes we've done so far, um, and then we're just we're going to uh, give a little backstory on them. Um, as many of you know, we didn't start. We didn't start doing bloopers until like episode ten, and even then, you know, you guys don't see everything that happens behind the scenes. So, this episode, we're just really gonna, really gonna shed some light on how, uh, on the process of making these episodes and the process of this podcast in general. I mean, it's just it's, it's come such a long way, and we'll talk a little bit about you know the process, how we did it. Probably gonna, you know, I, I think these process of the starting the podcast was a little different from how you'd expect it to be but we're going to go through all of that and we're just going to have a good time so enjoy the season finale um at the end we'll be giving details about season two so stay tuned for that uh stay tuned for season two because it is coming and it's not going to be a long gap in between it's going to be very very soon so um let's get started so Let's start at the beginning. So, how did we start the podcast, dude? You remember? Uh, oh my, bro. To be honest, <laughs> this, bro, is, this is like September, man. Yeah, so like I'm looking at the YouTube video, like the uh, the boy, the first episode. It was like seven months ago. <laughs> yeah, and like dude. bro, like first off, I want to say the cardio, the cardio, the uh, the quality of the episodes have complete, bro. Yeah. You could tell how totally good changed. they're getting, dude. Now I gotta yeah. give you props for that because, like, I don't, I don't mess with like hey. any of the the audio or like the other like tech stuff. <laughs> but like, like, bro, I, I gotta give you like a hand or something, bro, because that's, <laughs> that's like legit. Like, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I remember one thing that my like even my cousin Faith, she was talking about like how the episodes, like the episode one episode, like all the other episodes, and leading up to a whole episode, she was like, the quality is pretty good. I might yeah. actually watch it. And I was like, what? <laughs> I might I might actually watch your podcast. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, man. It's really become something, you know. It's like you know, it's like come to the point where we're selling merch now. By the way, website, link in description if you want some. That's my little plug. Um man, y'all gotta watch y'all, y'all gotta get some merch. Come on. At least yeah. if you guys in a fellowship, at least get some. Too, yeah. right? Come on. <laughs> I got, and, I want to see a couple people with the much. I know, right? And so like a boot camp cool. or something. Come on, you yeah. got to rep. Yeah. Um. Over the summer, um, or over you know the gap between season one and season two, we're gonna be coming out with a lot more merch, a lot more merch. And so instead, Ooh, you know, can't wait. instead of our uh, you know our little you know lighted up thing, we're gonna have lots of designs. Um, because we, you know, when we made the merch originally, it was based off of like the intro we had, and um, we're really just gonna, we're really just gonna absolutely take like it's gonna be all the same. It's gonna be lighted up. We're not gonna use like a different script or anything, but we're just gonna have tons of different designs, colors that aren't, you know, that aren't really gonna match our scheme. But I mean, hey, you know, some people like I've been wanting to do a shirt with like a tan color, like a brown, nice color. Uh, like black lettering it just looked cool mm-hmm. you know so we're gonna have lots of fun with that so um yeah. check out yeah, our listen. instagram for updates there and youtube shorts probably um which by the way you don't see as much content or behind the scenes or posts or whatever um, everything you see on instagram isn't always on our youtube shorts so make sure you follow us there the tag will be down here it's like undersquares and dots and all that but Okay, let's talk about let's talk about yeah, how we started the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh so, boy. So you, you honestly, add. you know, with a lot of Christian podcasts, a lot of it, you know, <laughs> prayer and all that, and God spoke to me. Finally, being completely honest with you guys, it was literally just uh, it was just an idea that came into my head, and um, I mean, hey, maybe it was from God. I don't know. I mean. Gosh, it was so long ago. I don't know if it was specifically from God, but I just remember like, man, a podcast. I'd love to do something like that because, uh, I mean, I love, you know, digital media, all that stuff. And I really love to do that. So I was like, you know, a podcast would be really fun. Took a lot of, we took heavy inspiration from the Door Church Connect podcast. 
um, heavy, heavy inspiration. And um, I had originally asked someone else, like, hey, would you want to be a, a host is a, from my church? And um, this is actually before I knew Raphael, you know, as, as much as I do now. Um, like, we knew each other, but it was kind of like a... We weren't like, talking, like, that much. We, we weren't we, talking, like... Like, we had yeah. just gotten each other's phone numbers. You remember that? Like we were, mm -hmm. we would talk back and forth sometimes, and we were just getting to know each other. So um, I was just like, you know, I was like, oh man, because because the other person had said no, and so I was just like, man, who could I do it with? And I was like, why don't I just, you know, talk to Raphael? I mean, we're you know young teens. Maybe we can do like kind of a teen theme, um, you know, and, and that's what it became. But I texted him, and um, and he was a it was like a Friday night that I had originally like really started thinking about it. I called me. It was right at it was after Bible study for you, um, mm -hmm. and we were just talking. I was like, I remember. I mean, I don't remember exactly what we said, but I was just like, Hey, dude, um, do you want to do a podcast? And he was like, Yeah, sure, I guess. <laughs> and, and so, I was just so <laughs> down with anything, bro. I, bro yeah, even even like. Like, not even with the podcast, like, even with my ministries inside the church. Like, if you, like, I remember once doing the podcast, we were talking about, we should start a band. And I was like, yeah, sure. I don't know how to yeah. sing. I don't know how to do yeah. guitar. I don't yeah. know nothing, but oh, I just want to do I it. I remember that. We wanted to start a band. So that's what, that was another original idea we had. But I kind of, nah, maybe it'll happen someday. <laughs> but, <laughs> maybe not. But, but we were both, like, I think, the podcast is like not only you know obviously you know we're doing like something for god we want to do something for god but it's also become like a uh like something for us to do like a ministry that we love and we were looking for so, like a ministry to partake in like i was i wasn't doing too much like other than going to church and doing stuff there like media mm -hmm. stuff i wasn't doing anything during the week and um thinking about this podcast i was like i mean you know what i'm not doing too much I'm I'm homeschooled, so you know I don't have sports or school events to go to. Um, but I think we were both just kind of in that area where we're just like you know I would really love to do something, you know, mm -hmm. like get involved with the program or something. And then this whole podcast idea came up, and uh, we just we just started talking about it. I mean, after he said yeah, um, we were I was like okay, cool, we yeah. So got to get it done yeah. or something, or just, we gonna be just empty like, words. Yeah, so we had originally thought, like, maybe we can somehow drive down and, you know, bring cameras or stuff like that. But we definitely did not have the budget. <laughs> um, we didn't have we didn't have anything. Literally, mm -hmm. we had no idea what we were doing. We had we had no idea how to host a podcast. I mean, mm -hmm. I like I got to admit, I kind of I kind of was like, yeah, I know, how to, you know, you just talk. Right. You yeah. Know, <laughs> much more than that like because i um when i was starting to think about it uh with a lot of help from my parents for sure um i uh, i would just like i would watch the door church connect podcast and be like okay you know see what they do and just kind of copy them and i remember i watched one episode and i was like oh man that's really hard and it's like because when you think about it it's um like because oh, i was watching like a testimony video because mm -hmm. that was another thing we were originally going to do like testimonies, not really biblical subjects, which it kind of turned into that. Um, but it was like, um, I was watching and I was like, man, like they come up with questions on the fly. Like, and you know, it was just like, man, how do they do that? How do they think? Like, how do they write out questions and all that? Um, and that took, you know, that took a lot of time to figure that out. Uh, as you said, the quality, um, you know, got better. But I think also we as hosts got better as time progressed. And JJ, um, he was he was with Raphael, and I I, I saw J or I heard JJ on the phone, and um, I didn't know JJ too well either, and mm -hmm. nor did I Raphael. I didn't know either of them too well, but Raphael's good friends with JJ, and I was just like, hey JJ, do you want to be on the podcast? And he was like, <laughs> yeah, sure. So it's really was just something where we were just like, you want to do it? Yeah, okay, let's do it. You know, just yeah, kind of shoot the hit. There wasn't much like thought into it. Like, yeah, oh, it wasn't. Let me like, let me pray about it. Or yeah, like, it was. Let me talk to my pastor totally, about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just 
so we started it but I'm, i mean obviously we did pray about it like before our first episode i remember i was scared out of my i scared out of my mind i was just you know i was praying a lot like man god i just you know, need your help i was so scared and um i was literally so scared i was like god please help me you know we have like you know you know we didn't even start it yet you know so we didn't have like a quote-unquote audience yet but mm -hmm. i mean hey but you know we just kind of went with it the google meet idea um mm -hmm. if you didn't know already we record on google meets it actually worked out really well for a lot of the guests we have because i mean you know as teenagers we can't really buy tickets and fly them down and even then like if i have a friend from san jose come still it was just you know would be very hard and um we're both in school still so it's not like we had all the time in the world so we the google me idea came up and we were like you know what we we're gonna do the best with what we can well with, with with what we have and it worked out very well especially with all the guests we have all over the world like we had from washington to texas so people in california but like hours away um things like that so it worked out very well but um yeah so that was the process of starting it really um just a very you know just kind of like it just do it you know it was awesome um okay so now let's talk about the first episode this <laughs> both of us just like we just both so so this was a whole debacle so um Raphael, why don't you why don't you tell your side of the story and then I'll, Ooh, I'll fill in with some details as we go. Bro, all I remember was just us just setting up a date where, like, we got done. To, I don't remember how exactly what we set up to the point for us to use Google Meet. And uh, so we would go, we would we set the date. We're like, okay, now let's record and let's start talking. And, like, all of us had, like, we had me, Jay, and, of course, Wyatt had some kind of notes. But mm -hmm. we we didn't really have anywhere to go with them. We, would, yeah, we just had we no just, just to talk. Yeah, and, and like it was, it was like a we we just didn't know how to do it, you know. Mm -hmm. So we kind of um, I, I'm I'm, I'm kind of like taking it from you, but we we go had ahead. studied prior and mm -hmm. we had a date and when we first of all we spent like an hour just like I don't even know what we were doing, but Whoa. we just like. <laughs> We just like joined the meeting. It was like an hour later. We were like, okay, we're going to start. Oh my gosh, it's an hour later. What have we been doing this whole time? I don't even remember what we were doing. I think we were like kind of going over details and getting set up and uh, all that. You know, all of us. We were just, like, we're all kind just, of like frazzled. Just for us to thing. record for like another hour and delete it. Yeah. And set another just, day to like yeah. be able to fully like get into it. Mm -hmm. Like, it mm -hmm. basically took us like two hours to yeah. set up a date for the actual yeah, meeting and then do you remember do what it? happened do you remember what happened so you uh, know bro. what happened is um we joined and we we're like okay we're gonna record and we tried recording and we just we just did not have it going on we just like we we, we like it was like one of us stopped talking and then one of us was like oh wait do i talk and it was like what about you know like him i have questions thoughts and all that like i have a, I have a scripture i want to say and like we're like all over the place and i think it's like you know over the episodes we've kind of learned how to like let each other talk or a right time to interrupt and all that but that first episode man we were just so frazzled we have like a we have a recording from that day we were supposed to record that was like after an hour and a half of talking and then i remember we were like we just stopped and we were like okay we need a game plan <laughs> we just and then we spent like the next hour just like we wrote out kind of like an outline like one mm -hmm. Raphael talks two Wyatt talks three JJ talks <laughs> second point Wyatt talks yeah, like that's that. literally what we wrote out and so that meeting like two and a half hour meeting we just we ended up just getting fr from it we just got like a you know like a little list of how the episode's lineup. gonna go yeah and then again and then the episode we, still didn't didn't really go as planned yeah it didn't it didn't really flow i think we just it seemed very I robotic mean, 
Mm-hmm. Like, like, like it was too scripted. That's what, that's what it was. Cause we're like, yeah. oh, we gotta be professional. Oh, down my hand. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta be professional. <laughs> and we gotta like have everything lined up and like go, yeah. go, go. And then like it seemed unnatural for us. Cause that it was the was. problem. Cause it kind of was. Cause we were just like, you know, like, oh yeah. I mean, we just joined the meeting and we just act like we're talking to each other, right? Just act and- like we're talking. <laughs> I mean, hey, that's what that was our <laughs> ideology. It was just like, we'll just talk to each other about scriptures, you know? Like, we got this. Um, we didn't got it, by the way. We didn't we get did it. Not. Uh, <laughs> if you guys watch it, we still, there's a lot of. Yeah, ups. we had. Bro, the altar call. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's talk about that. So, so we, we set oh up a different my gosh. we set up a different date and we recorded it and it was pretty good. You know, we were like, cool, first episode done. And we didn't we didn't so dude, we didn't we didn't even think about altar calls at that point. You remember? We weren't even end. like it was at the end we were like, yeah. we should put an altar. At the no, end, I think we were I like, brung it up. I was like, yeah, we you should did. do an altar call. You did. And I was like, I think at first I was opposed to it mm-hmm. because I was like, I was like, nah, altar call. Like, you know, it's kind of, it's like a podcast, but I mean, hey, you know, altar calls is like really needed because you never know. But mm-hmm. eventually I was like, you know what? Yeah, let's do an altar call. So why don't you tell us what happened? No, I, 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 bro, I promise you guys. I, I don't I think <laughs> I was, do you, have you put an altar call? Like do it back then when we first did the podcast? I think I was the only one that pulled an altar call. Yeah. So I, I had like JJ a someone. Didn't. JJ idea. didn't want to do it. Yeah, he didn't want to do it. <laughs> and you didn't want to do it either. And I was the only one willing to. So listen, I, I promise you, I know how to do an altar call. It was just that day. <laughs> I was just, I don't know what happened, bro. Uh, I remember it was just. It. It was just coming out. I was like, what am I saying? Like <laughs> mid mid altar call. I'm like, why am I saying this? Oh man. It's too <laughs> funny, dude. Um, dude I, I remember when I was like, why bro, let me record let me make a recording of myself doing another altar call and you could post it. <laughs> and I I forgot to do it. So like that's yeah. why it's jacked up to this day. Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, they just and then um we ended up working out where we got it on a Google Meet. But I hope I can find the clip. But you remember the clip when you said, um, "So Rafa, so let me set the stage." Um, here's uh, here's the here's the uh, here's what happened. So Raphael's doing the altar call, right? And we're all serious. Like we've had a few tries at the altar call, and we're like, "Okay, Raphael, just do it." And before this, do you remember? Because when we do altar calls, um. Like the um, the person the, we'll always have to guess to them. Um, mm-hmm. We'll turn off our cameras and mute ourselves because you know it can get distracting with like us watching you, especially recording. Um, we didn't do that back then, dude. You remember that? Like it me and JJ so were just awkward. like we were just like staring at Raphael doing it, and we, I think we went on mute. But still, you know, it's like we're still like looking at him, just watching. Um, I think but, that was it. That made me nervous. Cause you guys yeah. were just watching. I was looking back. I was like, "Oh crap! I better not screw up." And then, like, yeah. I screwed up. <laughs> yeah. So, so okay. So, um, we're just watching him, and we're like, "Okay, let's do this. You're gonna, you're gonna get this. You're gonna get this one." It's like after a few tries, and so everything just gets serious. We're all like, "Okay, like it's time," you know, like, like you know, one of those like, you know, kind of things. And um, and so we just get started. We're like, "Okay, three, two, okay, go, Raphael." And he's like, so he gets started. He's all serious. He's like, okay, guys, um, you know, if you don't, I would just like to pull an offering right here. And the guy <laughs> keeps going. He just keeps going. And me and JJ, we're, we just start cracking up. And he's like, he keeps going. And then we're like, we're like, bro, oh, my gosh. And um, we were just dying laughing. And um, Raphael's like, dude, like, what happened? What do you, I was I was doing so well, and um, and then we're like, you said offering, and he's like, I said offering. Oh my gosh, dude, that was funny. Okay, I um, was so I'm gonna the Before we end this podcast, we would like to put an offering for the people that don't know the gospel to be able to accept Jesus into your heart. What y'all laughing about? Nah, G. Nah, it's G. It's not an offering, Raphael. <laughs> Did I say offering? 
Yeah, that was we just. Yeah, I think we had a good time though. Honestly, it Dude. was such a good time, just doing that. Um, you remember? So um, I don't know if you remember. But I was. I remember watching the <clears throat> watching the episode, and I was at Scott's house. Yeah. And his son pulled up in the background. Oh, and like, bro, that. I don't remember. I'm trying to find it right now. That's why I'm looking down. I mean, I'm like, bro, I was like, I so I was that. so mad when I looked at it. I was like, bro, do you really came like come in when I was doing this? <laughs> I remember that. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh my god. Dude, I forgot about that. Wow. No, I, I remember they would they, so they would come in like occasionally. They would like show up in Raphael's background. We'd have to, okay, restart from this point. Um remember when Abraham came in, he was like, Rafa, stop being mean to Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was I remember that. There um there were you were doing the altar call once and they started getting really loud. And you like stood up, you muted yourself, and you yelled something. And then you sat back down and you just continued where you left off. And I did like, obviously I had to cut it out. And when I did, I was like, um, cause when I did the cut, it was seamless. Like mm -hmm. it was on like literally like from here to here, like it was so seamless and the quality wasn't good enough that you'd notice, <laughs> um, you know? <laughs> so when I did that cut, I was like, dude, like it actually looks like you didn't stand up and yell at the kids for being too loud. <laughs> so he's like, you know, like there's he's talking and you're talking about Jesus, and then there's like background noise coming up, and then like in the next scene, like the very slight, you know, movement, like there's no sound at all, and he just continues from where he left off. Oh, that was too funny. Dude, um, that was amazing. Let's talk about was... episode two. Okay, okay, let's get into it. Oh, and the testimony. Two. We didn't Testament. record. We didn't. We, we just. I remember Wyatt just told us he was like, "Okay, guys, I'm gonna need you guys to record you guys' testimony. Make <laughs> sure it's this way, and, yeah. uh, and everything's like make sure it's good lighting. You, you like everything's yeah. good." <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I was um like so JJ he um he was like just use my one from the Google Meet because in the in the first uh, in the first episode we had we had um like Raphael and JJ gave quick testimony before they got started um or before we got started mm -hmm. so i used jj's and then i was like and then i i uh, i did my testimony didn't have uh, too many issues there um but then the whole thing came up with your testimony well i have well i don't have them anymore but i got like literally three different recordings of Raphael's testimony because like and one of them, it was like his camera was off. And one of them, I wanted his camera to be more this way. And one of them, he had like a bowl on the, like, just like this much of his camera was like a bowl because he like set it up on the table. So it's like, you know, like it's like this is like a bowl, you know? Um, My excuse for that, I was eating ice cream beforehand. <laughs> and like, yeah. I forgot, but I put the bowl down. And See, I was like, so okay, I, I got to get this. I got to get the testimony in before he yells at me. Yeah. So. You remember, um, I remember the text because you sent that to me. And I was like, dude, move the bowl. What are you doing? I mean, I, I didn't say exact words. I don't remember exactly what I said. And he was like, bro, I'm just trying to eat ice cream. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, okay. So he recorded it again and uh, it was a really good test. I did like and, four uh, times, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the, I mean, the episode came out well. Um, and that was when we were doing every other week. Episode three, our first guest isaiah gash you remember that I love, that was I probably do. so was back cool then cat. back i say i say back then back um, in the day when i was <laughs> so um for that episode um when we had started we didn't so, so when, when we started the podcast um or when, when we kind of get in the process of doing an episode we have a discussion or like a FaceTime or a meeting with the guest beforehand and we'll ask them um, or we'll kind of go through what's going to happen. What are we going to do? Or we can ask questions like if it's a testimony episode or it's like a biblical subject episode. You know, we didn't do that. Like we had certain, you remember we had certain subjects we wanted to talk about and our idea was pretty much we get guests to come on. Then we're like, okay, study this scripture about 
words. And then we'll all come back and we'll talk about it. Oh, you remember, I remember that? that. Oh, remember? in the beginning, I was confused. I was like, bro, what are you talking yeah. about? Then now yeah. that just finally kicked in, like, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I mean, now we ask the guests what they want to talk about because you know, that makes it easier on, on them and, and us. us. Way us. Um, Way more. <laughs> yeah. Um, but for Isaiah Gashes, um, I think that one was a little easier because it was kind of more to his personality. Mm -hmm. Or not personality, but just like his situation and whatnot. We have, his uh, talent writing, and all that. Yeah, writing songs with God, talent, uh, godly talent, all that. Mm -hmm. um, I think that was fairly simple because we kind of just asked some questions about the music industry. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it wasn't too hard. We didn't bring up too many scriptures, if any. Um, it was more questions than anything. It was like it was like a, like a testimony, kind of. Like, yeah. We just asking questions back to back or like he would go off, not go off, but like go on about something. Mm -hmm. Like, we're like, be good. Yeah. And um, that was a good episode. That was like our first good episode. So let's talk about episode four. Remember when you, that's with Pastor, your pastor, Eric Wong. Is that so? Four? Oh, damn, that was okay. number four. Yeah. Okay. That was um, that's it, that was when they were coming out every other week. So this is like two months into the podcast, mm -hmm. and we only have four episodes because we're coming out every week. I was um, that was a good episode, man. That was a really good episode. I remember the process of that episode. Um. It was literally like I was like, because because then I went that at you know at that point I was kind of like, oh, it's a pastor, you know, we kind of need to do things a little differently. I was like, I remember yeah. I texted after I was like, it was like a Wednesday night or Sunday night or something. I was like, hey, ask your pastor what he wants to talk about. And then Raphael was like, Raphael was like, um, was like, I already know what he's gonna say. He's just gonna be like, it's your podcast, you decide. And, and that was what he did. That's literally what he did. Because I remember I was like, just ask him. Like I was like, I doubt it. And he and he did. Um, and then so I took drive. I was like, okay, what did he actually say? He was like, he said what I actually said he was gonna say. He said, you guys decide. And so we're like, oh, okay, so now we have to think of a subject to do. We have to think of questions to ask, you know. So we came to um it was like uh, making godly decisions, I think. Yeah, making making right decisions. Making right decisions, yeah. How, how did we come with the title? Because I remember coming going to Scott, and I was like, I was like, hey, we're going to have um, a pastor on the podcast. What do you think would be a good subject we should talk about with him? He was like, mm -hmm. oh, his testimony? And uh, yeah. I think he, he brought up um, making right decisions or something like that. Yeah. Because like, he kind of like, similar. Yeah, because he kind of backslid to like you know big mm -hmm. decisions kind of thing. Um, that was a good episode. Um, pretty much, we just episode. asked. It was a funny episode. Um, here's a. I I saved this blooper, but this is a blooper of. My past getting what, on me, and he was getting yeah, on me about see, that thing. It was towards <laughs> the end. It was towards the end. Um, because in the end of our testimony episode. Raphael was like from the big S, you know, and it was, and it was, I mean, it wasn't like a clean nickname. It was pretty cringy, not gonna lie. And Pastor just capped on him about it. He was, it. It was dead on. He was roasting the mess. It was me, hilarious. He was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I know. He was like, why didn't you say the two oh nine? So here's the clip, guys. <laughs> I heard that at the last podcast. It was the most cringiest thing I've ever heard. Don't say that. I kind of, nah, I kind of, nah. I kind of debated whether or not I was going to nah. keep it in there. Nah, I'm but repping big ass. Did, did big you ass. Think it was cringy, Wyatt? No, it is the best thing ever Wait. I ever thought of. Big was, ass. Stockton. We're gonna go viral for the cringe. <laughs> yeah. the big it. ass. What is, so what is the big S? Why don't you say the two oh nine? The big the S. Same thing. What is the big S? Stop it. No. Jealous, bro. No. The big S is just sounds like like what? That could mean anything. Skittles. <laughs> Skateboards. Like it could mean anything. say the two oh nine. Representing the two oh nine. Oh man. Or S town. <laughs> Even that's a little weird. That's that's kind of like Sacramento, isn't it? Anyway. Anyways, no, that's uh, 
Close Fuck enough. Out. I was just, I was just, man. It was a that was a fun episode. Um, yeah, for me for that part. But besides that, it was good. Long. that was like our first episode. We were where we were like sitting in our chair for like an hour. You know, it was so draining, bro. I remember yeah. I was so tired. Like the midway point, I was like, "When is this over?" I know. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I remember. I was like, all my questions sounded really dumb. Like I was, I w- I remember I would go through my questions and I'd be like, "That sounds so stupid." That one does too. That one does too. That's the same question as the other one. Like, I just remember I had so many dumb questions, but I mean, he answered them as like, like I remember one question. I was like, "What makes a good decision and what makes a bad decision?" But I tried to make it like all smart. I was like, "So what makes a decision biblically good or biblically bad?" I was like, I thought I was so cool. I was like, so I was small like, and I was that, like, like that's I was a like, good question. Why not? I know. I was like, <laughs> that was like, I was like, that's like his pastor that's Scott make, status. That's going to make I him remember. think. Yeah, I know. And uh, yeah, is uh, that was a good time. Episode and five. He did, it, he did it the most simplest answer too. He's like, I know. He's like, decisions. He's answering. <laughs> There's no yeah. biblically good. Yeah. Uh, I think bad decisions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, so. But it was really good because he was able to tie in his testimony very well. Um, let's talk about episode five. With my brother Gabe. Gabe Hazard, the guy with the coolest last name ever. Man. Facts, dude. Hazard? Come on. You go, come on. I, I, dude, that's just I that's so I had so cool. met him. I had met him at boot camp. Dude. Boot camp and like traveling and all that, because I traveled with his church. Mm-hmm. Um I met him I remember at boot camp yeah, he was in your platoon. I remember Raphael was like, "Hey, you want to have Gabe Hazard on the podcast?" And I was like, "Oh, you know, like I knew it. You know, I know the kid." Um, that was a good time. He, yeah, um, we that we kind of brought the subject to him. It was before we had started implementing, like, a, you know, what do you want to talk about? Um, oh, you know what? No, no, no. That was when we. That actually was when started. we. In- that was like That's the first we episode we did it. Because I, I remember it was JJ and you were talking to him, and I was just, we were at the church. I don't remember what for. Yes. The, and I was the, just running the, around the, the church building, and you guys were talking about the info and all that. And Raphael was just like doing his own thing. We didn't know where Raphael was. was. We were doing like a discussion meeting. Now, um, I don't know why I was he though. <laughs> um, but. Yeah, we asked him, and that's what he wanted to talk about. And he did very well, very well with the scriptures and all that. Um, tied it into his testimony very well. Very mm-hmm. smart kid. He is smart very. Kid. He, smart he, kid. he 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 reminds me a lot when I when I first my second year going boot camp. He, he I remember his personality, and him just like sticking out to me. So like yeah. he he reminded me of like JJ. Yeah, kinda. like not like he's necessarily. Like a, he's not like shy like jj but because i'm I'm like i'm hecka cool with jay so i could see his true personality when he's like not yeah. hecka shy he's like i think very very chaotic i guess you would say and very friendly no not to me he's very rude to me this <laughs> <laughs> is always roasting them trying to roast the mess out of me i promise you he's gonna be watching this video he's like no i do not rafa i'm like Shut yeah. yes you do we just we just bicker at each other like just joke around like that yeah and and yeah, and that's Gabe. Um, just reminds me of that, like very. Yeah, I don't know. He's v- and yeah, very kind of like a like young, you know, um, kind of like a young kid ish. Um, but we just had a good time. Very smart kid and uh, very Pastor Lamb esque. Very like detailed and description and <laughs> dare I say long, you know. But it was a that was a very good episode. Mm-hmm. I did a lot of I I went through like two templates of the episode, like I edit. I hate saying edited, but I edited one. I edit one. Edited, and it was, and then, <laughs> um, and then, um, and then uh, like I did all the the, I did all the stuff, and I uploaded it. And I was like, here it is, guys, um, check it out, um, before it goes public, and then there were just lots of things that were wrong with it. So I had to trash that one. I had to do another mm-hmm. one. Um, I didn't watch was, it, to be honest. Yeah, you never I think, watch it. I, I I don't like I I experienced <laughs> I experienced it firsthand. Like it's like yeah, 
It's like it's basically like we watching a movie. I don't understand yeah, how people right. could do that. Like I know what's gonna happen next. I know the killer is gonna pop up in this corner again. <laughs> like, like I, I, I don't have any kind of enjoyment watching it. The only thing I do is like well, get to the, the end and on. watch the bloopers to see what yeah. kind of bloopers you add. Yeah, that's, that's the only thing. Okay, so episode six. This one was tough because I wasn't. This was the first episode you guys did without me. Yeah. It went terrible. <laughs> it went, you know what? You Dude, I was so job. scared, bro. I did not Dude, know what to do. You remember I was editing I I I was um going through the episode and I like because JJ shared it on like like Google Drive and I was going through it and I was like, Raphael, where's the intro? And he's like, Oh, we didn't do the intro. Yeah, and because literally the, the beginning, intro. the be- this is this is what happened at the beginning of the episode. It's like, it's like the three of them, right? And it's like, it's like, okay, I'm recording, and then it's like, hi, my name's Raphael. I'm the co-host of the Light It Up podcast. Our guest today is um, Ezra Saavedra. So, uh, Ezra, why don't you give a quick testimony? That was his intro, and I was like. Dude, that's not an intro. What are you doing? Or I didn't say, what are you doing? I didn't say it like that. But I was like, we need an intro. We have, we need an intro and an outro. He didn't do an outro. Nor did he do an altar call. Did we do an altar call? I don't remember. I, I believe he did pull one. I think. Did we do oh, an wait. altar call? I don't even did I don't you know if we did. One? What is this end one? Oh, wait. Did we? I th- Uh-uh. We didn't. We didn't do an article. Dang. Just, that's the so, only yeah. episode we didn't do an article. Yeah. So, Dang, so I, I fumbled the bag. <laughs> <laughs> I, I fumbled. I had Raphael send me like a few. Because um, I was like, there were a few intros he did. You? I did at least 15 different recordings, <laughs> dude. It was so yeah. difficult. I was like, homie, how do you remember this crap? <laughs> I was going through it. I'm like, I have a, I'm recording myself with one phone. I have another phone in my other hand, like trying to look at this phone, like, <laughs> what's coming next? Without looking like without looking like I'm reading from a script. <laughs> it was so difficult. And then why I was like, so I recorded like at least an hour, like 30 minutes. And he was like, okay, just scrap the script. I'm like, bro, you should you should have told me in the beginning. It was so a minute, like, 30 seconds, not an hour, guys. No, it felt like an hour, dude. It felt it like an hour. So it wasn't long. an hour. It was not an not hour. The, the intro was an hour, but me recording it over and over and over. There's so many clips I have that I messed up that I didn't send you. Yeah. I actually Raphael had a video <laughs> version. Um, but I you know, I just I like took I just put the audio because Raphael I was, was scared. Like, I was I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so I so it came down to this, I was like I was like, okay, this is what you say. This is what you say. Then you say this, and I said me. I was like, dude, you forgot this part. He's like, he did it again, dude. You forgot this part, and I was like, I just came to a point. I was like, this is what I said. I was like, you know what? Just say everything you think you need to say, everything you'd want to hear, and then just send me that video. That's a video we used, and ironically, that was like the best intro and outro you had. Um, but that was a good episode. That was a really good episode. Tomorrow's not promised. Um, I think we actually want to do a part two with Ezra because I oh, want to hear more of his testimony. Heck yeah, bro! You got to be there this time. You got to do the intro and outro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, episode seven. So My this brother one, Isaac Martinez. Hey, the so brother. Hey, my brother always remembers him as the guy who has the Broncos beanie. <laughs> the Broncos beanie. <laughs> yeah. Um, or just the beanie in general. He's like the only guy on our podcast that ever wore a beanie. Oh no, actually you you wore a beanie a few episodes ago, didn't you? Yeah, I went it I wore it with uh who was it? Ben Fussell. Yeah. Um yeah, that was a man, that was a good episode. It was I, I was the I was like one of the ones I enjoyed a lot because like it was heck of fun. Yeah. It was like and... definitely like a highlight. So um behind the scenes moment here. This is when we actually started, like, um, because um, we had been recording from OBS, and we always had, like, a little thing that was, like, audio. It was, a separate, it was like, a separate person, but it was for audio. Um, we would always see, like, a person and a little A. 
That was for audio. And um, we just did our thing, dude. And um, wasn't this the, the one? The, we it was like course google like me yeah recording you can yeah so because you can i'm like we have we, we started recording on google meet um like google meet will record and you know on like it automatically switches the cameras and editing became way easier and all that we didn't need an audio guy um and so doing that that was really fun um, but that was when that i think that was kind of when our quality started going up a little because the next the next two episodes I started definitely. using the next two episodes I started using a new editor. Because the old editor was a little rough to use. Um, you, gotta, you gotta clip it. You gotta say what editors you used and all that for people who wanna have this do info. I, do Why I, not? Okay. Maybe so, you always best just in case people <laughs> wanna you wanna start up the own podcast. Yeah. Um, so I use Canva. I have a premium subscription with a few of the churches in the area. Um, we like share it and all that. Um, so I use that for our slides, if you didn't know. Um, like our thumbnails and stuff. But up until episode seven, that's what I used for our editor. And it was tough because it's like you're using um, for all the guys and girls who understand, you know, like slide creation media stuff. It's like a thing that's built for creating slides. I was editing like hour long episodes on. It was just rough. It was very laggy and all that. Um, at least for me, maybe like my Wi-Fi wasn't up to par, my computer, you know, all that. But um, let's, let's move on to episode eight and nine. But I'm going to say like episode seven was a really, really good episode. That was the one we released around Christmas in December. That and good. that was a good episode. Um, oh, bro, you remember, you remember when I was just going on in it and like my yeah. Wi-Fi just kicked me out like yeah well, not oh, my wife. I, I was at my pastor's that. house and I was recording yeah. it we were talking and um or I think like someone else Raphael wasn't talking I remember that he wasn't talking at the moment but then and he I just like him. he was talking and then like you just got kicked out yeah oh and no you I think you were yeah it happened I, twice it happened twice yeah I remember yeah I was just going on it I was just like this yeah. is what the Bible says and all that. And He's talking then, about lust. Yeah, I was talking about He's talking lust. about oh. lust. Yeah, dude. Talking it about was just a devil, man. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so that was that was a really good episode. We had a really great time. Um, mm -hmm. Church and dating versus worldly dating. That was a really good time. Yep. Episode eight and nine. Do you, this is with Christopher. This is the fear and anxiety one. That was one we had, like, because uh, I had scheduled Chris, like, mm -hmm. he was one of the first guests I scheduled, but he was scheduled in January. Um, it was, I forget why he was so far off, but um, we we just scheduled him. Oh, that was because, that was, was that before we had that, uh, we were doing it weekly? Yeah, that was before we were doing it weekly. So, so wasn't that, wasn't that, didn't we have, like, other people scheduled? Yeah. Like, like mm -hmm. for, like, twice, that's, I think that's why. Yeah. Yeah, and so they kind of like fell out or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So there was um if you go back, we had tons of cuz you remember like the end of December beginning of January, that was a really hard time for us because we had like tons of guests and a lot of them canceled. It was mm -hmm. weird for like 4 weeks. There was like we like okay, yeah, we, need, we need to get an ep Yeah, we were like we need to get an episode out this mm -hmm. Saturday and it was like okay that guy can't come can this guy come that's coming on in the next mm -hmm. two weeks and like just everybody canceled on us so like a three-week period became a four-week period but then we came out with fear and anxiety you remember that mm -hmm. that was a really good time um mm -hmm. um and really good time with chris and his <laughs> testimony and all that um that's when i started using cap cut which is what we use now it's like a for our rough cut editing um for editing. Yeah, for our intros and that we use a different editor, but um it's uh that was the first episode I used CapCut. It's free, you know, free editor and it's doesn't lag as much as Canva does, you know. Mm -hmm. Um so we use that. That's also when we started doing like 35 minute episodes because I was like, dude, we need to shorten our episodes. Or like to you and JJ, I was like, we need to shorten our episodes. We need to, you know, we just need to um, 
you know, because like, because our ideology was teens aren't going to be like an hour episode. Teens are going to be like, oh, that's something I want to watch, you know? Mm -hmm. And, you know, and we're aiming this at teens. So with Chris, we made it into two parter and we co probably could have done like one parter, but it would have been like 50 minutes to an hour. Yeah. Um, but that was really good. That was when we first started implementing that rule. And but then. Like two, we only had like two people that, that hit the hour mark. Mm -hmm. There was like mm -hmm. people that came close, but not to like 30 minutes. Yeah, 40, but they were still pretty lengthy. 20, 25, 24. Yeah. So remember this is, so then um, this was still every other week when we were releasing. Mm -hmm. Then episode 10 came out. Dude. And we were like, we were like, that was a fun episode. Oh, that was hilarious. Man. I loved it, bro. Caleb that's when. Yeah, that those amazing. dudes. Yeah, those those dudes are cool. Um, they're cool cats. Um, nice. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> uh, we just had a really good time. They're very. Um, I know, hilarious, dude. Like, that was so they're like funny, dude. Jovial. They're always joking. <laughs> they're just they're they're hilarious. Um. So we just had a lot of fun, a lot of bloopers that actually didn't make the cut. Just Damn, that sucked, dude. You should have. Well, some of them, some of the bloopers were like, they're like okay. It was like just kind of like where we were laughing kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But some of the bloopers were like, you know, you need to put them in there. That's also when we started putting in bloopers at the very end of our episode. Yeah, because your mom heard us complaining about <laughs> you not putting bloopers. Cue the clip. I'm, I'm trying to convince why it's a post boop blooper. I'm not posting the, the bloopers. Want to do that jazz. Post bloopers. I'm post the bloopers. YouTube channel, nigga. YouTube channel. That's what I'm telling them. Make a whole different YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on mute by Mike Joseph. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, I'll get to work on that. I'll get to work on that. Yeah, you better, Wyatt. That would be funny. Thank you, mom. Eat, even your mom, yeah, bro. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they're all like, see, <laughs> um, yeah, so I wasn't forced into doing it. So I was actually because my thing was, is like before I was like, no, I'm not going to make it like a public thing. I don't want to post our bloopers. But then I was like, once we started doing it, I was like, OK, this is actually pretty cool. You know, dude, I was always on about you. I was like, bro, you should make like a, like a separate thing, like just bloopers, dude. Or like, yeah, like a, like competition. Like, well, not competition. What is that word? Compilation compilation of like bloopers of every single episode from like episode one to episode like 10 or something and like mm -hmm. make it like the people could just watch the bloopers and like i'm always like oh why you should do it like no we can't do that i'm like bro <laughs> he's like it's no, a church that <laughs> yeah it's, a, it's like it's a, it's a church thing we gotta make it look professional i'm like okay then we make a different channel we post the bloopers there and then he's like, no. And then his mom finally came and it been that little angel we needed from God to finally speak to him. Yeah. Episode 11, Josiah Salas. You remember how long it took for us to actually record? <laughs> it took us like, it was one of those episodes where it takes a long time to record. Um, uh -huh. It happens occasionally. Um, we We were like, we had our meeting at like, three-ish i think we started at four <laughs> um but that was a really good episode we had a lot of we had a great time my mm -hmm. favorite part from that episode is always just gonna be jesus i want to experience jesus <laughs> best well, we're still gonna count on him for that bro episode. Oh, when i go to man. conference we definitely gotta make that like a like a meme or something jesus yeah. saw an experience like, jesus like well we should make that like a, like a like a like uh, a uh, um audio wheel from instagram and like oh, man, we can just make that a big old thing bro <laughs> yeah yeah All right. it's like our That's... quote like jesus i want to experience jesus make much bro oh man i don't know i don't know we'll see we'll have to people have to buy some of the other ones first that they're gonna buy like a meme shirt um, so was a, I feel like they will want a meme shot instead of like a regular <laughs> shot, to be honest. Yeah. Um, okay. And so, episode 12. Dude. Who was it? There's Jonathan. Jonathan, yes! Dude. Oh, man. I'm check I'm looking at the episode right now. There's 160 nice. views, dude. I know. That was, I think that's our, actually. That's our the biggest 12. one, dude. That's the biggest one, yeah. 
Um, and like it's yeah. by far though, like the closest one is like maybe seven ninety. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It just, it just. Oh wait, never mind. It's one hundred and twenty-two. It's like the testimony. The testimony. Oh okay. Oh wait, oh wait. Oh, first episode is one hundred and thirty-four. Nice. We're moving up on the podcast charts, guys. <laughs> That's the that's but when yeah. you start asking for the five stars, bro. Yeah, yeah. Um, we just not not too much to say. If I'm being completely honest, uh, it, was being podcast. it was just a long podcast. It was just but it was a dude. long podcast. This is dude, testimony, he, man. It's testimony. The dude, the part that made it an hour was the 30 minute story of what happened when he, uh, oh, like, it. almost okay. overdosed, dude. And he was just going, you know, have, seeing all these stuff, all this mm -hmm. stuff. Going into detail, that's what took so long, man. Episode two that's was like what, an hour what, long, dude. Hour. Yeah, that I remember me and Raphael. Sometimes, some, so sometimes me and Raphael will text like if the guest is talking or telling a story, we'll text like, "Okay, you ask the next question." Is it okay, guys? It's just how we do the podcast, okay? Um, we're definitely listening. I promise. No, we're always listening. <laughs> <laughs> we're just no, over we here big, we're just sending memes to each other, not even yeah. paying attention. No, no, we're not. We're not. He's. We don't. You definitely. Do I would. I would text him about. back. I'd be like, "Pay attention." No. Um. But I remember we yes, texted, he and he was before. going, and I just remember Raphael was like, "Bro, I didn't know his testimony was this extensive." And I was like, "Bro, I was just about to say that." So just the story. It's crazy. Dude, what was I'm next? Not... Episode fourteen. With uh, Pastor Francisco, the guy hey. that stole all our freaking questions. I'm so <laughs> mad about that. Yes, dude. Yeah. So if you get, I mean, he pretty much like he uh, the the what what we were doing is uh, he was gonna preach like a 15 minute sermon, um, and then we were just gonna ask questions later. I had like a good solid like five, maybe six, seven good solid questions, and that's a lot because I mean, if you think about it, like three to two minutes for every answer or response seven times three is 21 seven times two is 14 and that'll vary Quick maths okay but like sometimes questions like they'll take longer than you expect and mm -hmm. you know even i've had like for some episodes i've had like five questions and we've you know like gone to part twos you know um i had like a good good solid five six seven questions and um I probably had two when he finished his sermon. I literally, I was like, oh, he already talked about that. Um, okay, he's talking about that too. I was like, <laughs> I don't really know what to ask at this point. But, and then you know, Rafa, it happened to Raphael too. Um, oh gosh, that was, that was a fun episode. That was a good um, episode. He stole all the questions besides yeah, that. Yeah, he literally if, stole if, all if he didn't questions. steal all the questions, like if he like just went in his testimony or like something else, yeah. instead of like preaching technically, yeah, we would have had those questions and he would have had us have that chance for us to have that conversation yeah. and for us to technically talk more in that con in the in the part in the in the episode. But uh the brother wants to steal the questions. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about episode 15. Yeah, yeah. Your cousin. My cousin. My big cousin I don't know if you guys, likes to beat me. I, so, so, dude, I actually forgot to say that Faith was your cousin. I had really planned on it. So, um, you remember how um, you guys were originally supposed to be in the same room next to each other? Yeah. But then she Faith, didn't want that. last minute, she was just like, she wanted, they were they're in, they're in the same house, guys. And she just, she wanted to be in a different scene, different scenery. Um, mm -hmm. I don't blame her. Honestly, I probably wouldn't do the same thing. You guys are cold, bro. <laughs> no. <mean> it's... Me. <laughs> so um, I was in the kitchen and she was in a room. Yeah, that's that's why Raphael's um, room changed. He was trying to switch up the scenery. Yeah, I, I had everything set up and everything, like, ready for us to sit next to each other. I had a chair next to me and everything. I was getting everything ready and, like, Maybe like a minute or like a couple of minutes before hand, we're about to start. I'm like, okay, Faith, come on. He's like, I'm gonna go do it in my room. I'm like, <laughs> what? Yeah. I, I set all this up for you just to dip. <laughs> um, who is next? Uh, let's see. It is uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah Stroop. He was a cool brother. Guy. Yeah, he was a cool guy. Not not too many bloopers there either. 
Uh, mm -mm. We just, we just had a good time. Uh, he had a lot of context. Uh, we had a we had a great time though. Great time. Not mm, no no not too much behind the scenes. It wasn't, wasn't, there. Yeah, it wasn't much to say. He's we a just good had a guy. Good time. Yeah, had fun and all that. Dude, Carlos. Next episode. Carlos. Remember Carlos? He was that was one of those episodes that was funny. It was hilarious. It was like a whole bunch of not bloopers, but like he would make jokes between like just yeah. as funny as the uh the Capono brothers. Oh, what are the names? Amor brothers. Yeah. So Carlo is a very, very um a big jokester. So um we just had a lot of fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I do. I knew that freaking Andy, that freaking outro. <laughs> yeah, that was the worst. So, um, as I was doing the outro, Raphael and Carlo, they're like, they start dancing. They're like doing all this. Put his shades like, on and everything. Like, just talk. Boom, boom. <laughs> he's like, Raphael's like, it was, it was, it was too funny. Um, that's why I kind of, I had a hard time doing that outro. Um, that was the point. But, um, you remember what happened when he was talking and I yawned or something yeah, you and yawned, both of them just started cracking up. Bro, it was dead. I, th I was trying to hold in my yawn so it came out like a... Yeah, you open... Yeah. <laughs> you open your mouth you so weirdly. Just... It was like, it was like this yeah. is not from like this. <laughs> <laughs> it was so weird. We're like, what are you doing? At least Carly totally just started off. busting out laughing as he's talking about, you know, destiny. Yeah, um, who is next? Uh, let's see. Uh, Felix. Felix, great guy. Mm -hmm. Um, that was another episode that took a long time. Mm -hmm. We took like an hour to get everything set up. What were we? Were we waiting for something? I don't remember. I think we were waiting on him. We were waiting on something, but it ended up taking an hour. We all had like a big sandwich break. It was really funny. I remember that. Uh, yeah, it was really funny. He like had the grilled it was cheese. A quality, bro, we all got... quality. Yeah, because I had my phone because yeah. my computer was being a bum. It wasn't even my phone. It was my mom's uh, Android. Yeah, dude, this quality is terrible. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude! Make sure you watch your podcasts before you. Bro, go make sure guys. you guys are watching tagging <laughs> at this crap, bro. Y'all 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 watching these videos, y'all supposed to be making sure we look good. At least like put a time at like what we look retarded <laughs> or something like that. Dang, that's cold. Was it the same um, episode two? Dude, episode two that was, was worse. That was so that was a really good episode. We had a great time. Um, it was fun. It was a good. Yeah, I love that guy. He's a, he was a he episode. Was a episode with Ben. That was when we passed. That was really good testimony. Um, not too many bloopers or anything. Um, we just had a great time. His testimony, was amazing was awesome. guy. Mm -hmm. Those really, really amazing guys time. to hang out with, bro. Most of these guys that we had, they like cool. Yeah, yeah. They're like we um, would one hundred percent like hang out with after like the episode. Yeah. Most of the time we do, we we hang out with the guests. It wasn't like, like a, it wasn't like shit. so business where like they come in. It's like okay, we have a few questions, and then like right after, it's like okay, have a good day. Okay. You know, it was like we oh, stayed well. on, we talked. You know, um, you know, that's what it's got to be. Uh, mm -hmm. like the next episode, the Haven Brown, that was really fun. Not Bro. too many bloopers. We literally did like a one shot. We were good. Mm -hmm. Like no cuts or anything. And I kept whatsoever. like I I was just kept trying to make bloopers, dude. Yeah. Dude, my hair. About the bloopers. <laughs> Your hair. It says, this is for y'all, bro. I understand y'all here for me. And we're having fun, bro. <laughs> Without sounding prideful. But like, like, you know, I'm like, the main reason why I'm here was because, one, because Wyatt had no choice. I made him two. Two. <laughs> I'm supposed to bring the opposite of what Wyatt brings. So, Raphael we have decided is the balance between my business like or seriousness 100 percent. I, I don't believe it but i 100 percent believe it. i'm way more i'm way more fun to hang out with than Wyatt. he's very business yeah he's, right. he's like well he's like, um, uh, he's like let's talk about crypto okay what? <laughs> okay this guy um next episode pastor daniel nago um, 
Uh, you can't <laughs> see, but like, dude, I my can hill, see. Like, yeah. I want y'all to like go in, into like the comments of every single episode and like look how my hair is and like type out like like what happened to my hair or like when was that like like because i changed my hair to like long to short so yeah, fast yeah. dude and like growing back and i went back to short a little bit and now i got my locks back <laughs> um pat or the uh pastor jason super she was long testimony amazing testimony Dude, I thought I was gonna die because how long it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was I very was, long. I literally like laid down doing like when was at the end because I was just so yeah, exhausted. Because I was like his testimony was so like not in it was basically in it was so good because that was my first time ever actually yeah. hearing his testimony. Yeah. And two, I was like, it was cool. Like I don't yeah. know. <laughs> like, yeah, I, like, no. I sound like a little bit like, oh, he had a cool testimony. Like, no, I was yeah. like, it's like something you don't like heal that way, like much like he got <laughs> girl and a different oh gay and then came to dude, yeah i don't know what to say like yeah dude you guys got to go listen to it you got y'all 100 <laughs> percent. y'all watching this episode before any of these other episodes we mentioned like what are you doing with your life <laughs> um, <There's> no shade <laughs> yeah and let's talk about this episode. Man, this is an amazing episode right here, isn't it? <laughs> the best episode, yeah. I would say so, because Wyatt finally let uh, Rafa get off his leash and okay. walk around a little bit. His <laughs> leash. Okay, this guy. Um, so <clears throat> that has been our journey. Man, it's crazy. <laughs> it is crazy, Just dude. Like, like, thinking how like no fun. jokes, bro like being dead serious like it's a trip just how how much this podcast has grown and just how much like how much it's it's gonna grow because we're not gonna stop at least yeah. i don't yeah. i don't plan on stopping at all probably when you when we get sent out we'll stop maybe when the rapture even happens. then maybe that i don't know about <laughs> that we'll yeah. probably continue doing it on because like this is something like it's not it's just really amazing to be because like it's something that we're gonna remember we're gonna have in our memories when we get old or like we come past those and and like all that like oh These you remember when we were teenagers we were yeah, trying to do something be, for jesus this is gonna like, be here. all the friendships we're gonna get from like the guests that come on by us just yeah. hanging out with them and like yeah setting dates like meet up at conference or boot camp or or anything like that like dude it's a it's a trip how just how this is growing dude yeah it's awesome and um this is the end of season one Ooh. um last few minutes of season one but uh, you guys already know the drill follow us like subscribe rate with five stars <laughs> Follow us on Instagram. All that. Let's talk about season two. So season two the first episode will premiere september 2nd not very long from now Stay brother can tuned. you say that again what's september the day? 2nd write it down y'all write it down september. write it down first the first saturday of september oh it's gonna be the same eight o'clock eight, 8 a.m every saturday and they're gonna be coming out weekly and we'll see you guys there yeah um we're excited stay tuned we're gonna we're not gonna stop we're gonna release content um like shorts and stuff like on our instagram and stuff um stay tuned bloopers. find more bloopers we'll release those occasionally um we're gonna be making new merch stay tuned for that but we'll see you guys in season two in september thank you guys for everything for all the memories but uh, we had a great time it's been awesome to see 
this podcast grow into what it's become. And yeah, we'll see you guys in, uh, let's see, about six weeks. God bless. Okay. You ready? How's this camera angle? Do I need to put more books? I think you, we just need really need to reset your background. You're a hater. Stop hating my background, dude. Show my character. Look at this. Look at this. This is for the blue post. There's a little hat. Fancy looking hat. There's a little... I don't know. I can't even point. I don't know what that is. There's some pictures on the wall. There's I don't think my, you need to explain. I, we can clearly see what's in there. There's my background. charge clothes. You know, not too much to that. Say, they're not supposed to know we're recording this. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I'll probably put like a blooper at the end or something. Um, Dude. yeah. So every single not day, so we're talking about when we're like, yeah, they're not supposed to know why. <laughs> yeah. So we're um, talking about Pastor Sanchez. They're not supposed yeah. to know. Yes. Yeah. We did bye it. Bye bye. Okay, Rafa, I would actually love to stay in chat. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry.